look at that view. It's such a beautiful day in Toronto today. It's been a while since I thought about you. It's been a while, have you thought about me too? I'm meeting him at the place that Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. So I last left off the day before my sister came to Toronto to visit me. It was so much fun and I'm so glad that she got to come up and spend some time with me. Yesterday I had a really sad day. <laughs> my sister left and I was like alone and I just felt like utterly alone basically because I'm here for two and a half weeks pretty, like by myself. So yeah, I was really missing Ben and my sister and I was just like having a pity party poor me day. I just kind of took the day yesterday to just like feel sorry for myself essentially. But we're back today. I've avoided getting groceries up until this point. I'm gonna go to Canadian Tire and grab some pillows and a selfie mirror because there's no good mirror here essentially and yeah, I'm that desperate. I mean, if I was here for any less time then I probably wouldn't but I figured I need to keep myself busy so why not invest in a selfie mirror. Oh, and I booked some appointments for myself over the next few days. I booked some lashes that I'm getting tomorrow. I have to get a hair appointment as well because my roots are like really grown out. I'm gonna get highlights to soften out the roots because I don't want to go super duper blonde. I'd rather my natural hair grow it a little bit. So yeah, I think that's what's on track for today. A really <laughs> exciting day. If I go into the gym today, it will be legs, but I'll probably use like leg press and um, machines just so that I don't have to put any weight on my neck at all. So if I do that, I will definitely bring you guys along. And that's it for my preamble. Let's go to the grocery store. Oh, Ben's calling me. Hello. My love, you exist. I've missed you so much. How's your day been? Feel a bit better? Yeah, a lot better than yesterday. This is my little quick outfit. I'm going to bring my little carry-on piece of luggage so that I can roll it back like a cart. So yeah. <laughs> I'm also gonna take my little mini backpack as well. So if I have anything extra, I can put it in there. And let's go grocery shopping. So I got a bunch of fruit, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, kiwi, watermelon, some apples, tomatoes, red pepper, avo, cado, <laughs> green beans. Oh, I meant to get asparagus, I forgot, damn it. This lettuce thingy, which is in a pot still, so it's like living lettuce. I'm gonna feel like I'm murdering it every time I take some lettuce. So there's that. Almond milk, my usual unsweetened vanilla. Trot 50, this I love mixing with my protein shakes, so if I use like vanilla whey, it tastes so good. Some corn. I put this stuff on my burrito slash chipotle bowls. Turkey burgers, minced turkey, turkey meatballs, cooked shrimp, tuna. I don't know, I just love tuna salads. Whole grain bread. These are for the turkey burgers. Rice, brown rice. No, it's mushroom rice. Since I'm gonna be here a while, I got some ketchup, some low-fat Miracle Whip to make my tuna salad and stuff. Sweet chili dipping sauce for the meatballs. I got some maple barbecue sauce. I've been craving barbecue sauce, peppercorns, seafood sauce, which is another thing that doesn't exist in the UK apparently. So if I eat it like way more than the average person. Taco seasoning, and this is what I use to cook minced turkey in. These little meals are only $8 from the Sobeys. So grilled chicken breasts, butternut squash roasted, sweet potato roasted. <laughs> I'm not cooking chicken on this trip. It's just too much effort. Protein shakes. These are kind of a treat to be honest. I don't usually have dairy, but these are lactose free, which is awesome. And I got myself some candy because I'm in Canada and the candy's really good here. Golden grams. This is for like fast carbs or if I'm craving a treat before the gym or whatever. So, oh, and eggs. That is my entire grocery haul. So there you have it. Finished making my lunch. 
tuna salad, one full can of tuna between this and this, chopped golden delicious apples, red pepper, living lettuce underneath, tossed with some of that light mayo, some berries on the side. I'm starving, I can't wait to eat this. All the groceries that I bought today should last me at least a week. I'm here for another pretty much two weeks, so I'll probably go back and get a few replacement things next week. And I feel really tired, but I think it's because I put off eating for such a long time. I really rely on carbs, and if I don't eat them, then I get like tired. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna eat this. So I ate lunch, and now I'm going to walk to the Eaton Center to go get the mirror and the pillows. I think I'm gonna get an Uber back. It's like a 25 minute walk. I figured I'd get some exercise in because I don't think I'm going to be going to the gym today. I need to rest my body. I definitely feel a little bit better since having lunch, but I'm still like pretty exhausted. So I'm guessing it's just like residual jet lag. So hopefully that goes away soon. Just waiting for a couple more battery percentiles. Maybe I'll get a copy on the way. Got my pillows and now I'm just trying to find the mirror. Found some. I mean, $9.99 too. Just got back. I'm gonna show you guys my little mini haul from today. So I got Canadian treats. I can get that in the UK, but the rest I can't. Sour Patch, Caramel, Smarties, Arrow. Pretty self-explanatory. Delicious. And I already had like a little bite of that. So I got just a few little pairs of socks. I thought these were so cute and summery just to wear like with sliders. This off the shoulder velvet top. I'm obsessed with the velvet. It's really coming in now. Another velvet top, just a little cami with the lace and I just thought it was really cute. I don't have very many looser tops so I figured that would look really cute tucked into a pair of shorts. I got a couple of these beauty sponges. I usually use the real technique ones. We'll see how it compares but I just find these get like really gross and dirty looking even though I wash them literally every day. Just got a cute little makeup bag. Just gonna put my makeup, which is currently in a Gymshark bag, in there. And I also went to Urban Outfitters. Had to exchange a pair of jeans. So I got these mom jeans and I just got them in a size too small because classic, they fit on the waist, but they were like way too tight in the butt and the legs. So I decided just to get them loose because that's the point of these jeans. So I went up to a 26. And these are so nice. I might go back and get there's a black pair of them that I really like. So cute. Oh, and they've got like a little booty rip as well, which I think is super cute, but they actually fit quite well considering, like I think even if I just put like a, a little belt at the top, they would look really cute. My first pair of mom jeans. And then I also got a cropped hoodie. They're just really nice to be able to throw on. So I got another one of these as well. Quite a little haul from today. I'm just about to cook myself one of these Italian turkey burgers. Home cooked meal numero dose of today. Look at me making my own food. It looks delicious. I've got some maple barbecue sauce underneath there and just a little bit of light mayo and that lettuce from earlier. And then I just have like a little bit of shrimp on the side just for extra added protein. I think I'm gonna leave you guys here for tonight. I'm gonna finish this food and I think I'm gonna do a little bit more laundry and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. So see you tomorrow. I totally forgot to do a recap for this part of the video, so I woke up, I had breakfast as you can see here, and then on this day I went and I got my lashes done, it was kind of like a beauty day thingy, so I went to this mink lash bar in downtown Toronto on Queen Street and it was so nice, and then after that I went to go get my hair done, and this is when I got my roots all done, and then I got my hair tinted pink. So this is what it looked like. The girl who did my hair did an amazing job. Her name is Ashley and she works at Evolve Hair Studio. If you guys are in Toronto and you wanna go check her out, she does really good like pastels and colors. It was really pretty and I just love the decor so I got a few clips of it as well. But yeah, overall awesome hair experience. Then I went back and I had this double turkey burger. So same as the one that I showed earlier, but this time I put avocado on it. 
Um, and then I got ready to go to my workout. Oh, and I had strawberries on the side and I had a couple of treats apparently. So yeah, um, back to the video. Hey guys, so I'm just on my way walking to the gym now. I've got some BCAAs because I'm gonna do a leg workout. And since my neck has been hurting, I'm just going to do things that don't require weight on my neck or holding weights. I'm gonna try to do like more like leg press and at most maybe Smith machine, something like that. Just nothing that's going to put strain on my neck. So probably try to avoid like heavy deadlifts and stuff like that. But I'll see how I feel when I get in there. Hey guys, so I am back with the workout voiceover portion of this video. So, um, as I said, my neck was in a lot of pain and that was since I got to Toronto. It was like, I think it was because of trying to sleep on the plane and then um, the pillows in my Airbnb were just like really flat. But my neck was just so, so sore and I'll often get like tightness in my neck. Um, it's just kind of an ongoing issue for me. It's more like trap pain and neck pain. Since it was particularly bad, um, I decided to do a glute workout that didn't involve any axial loading. So putting like a bar on the back of my neck, like not anything heavy. You'll see I do Smith machine squats, but they're quite light. Um, so that meant like a lot of leg press and not as much lunging. And I find holding dumbbells or holding a barbell when my neck is so tense it's like my traps and my back muscles aren't strong enough to keep my shoulders back and down and then it just like further pulls on my neck and it's really sore and uncomfortable and it just makes the pain worse so it's best for me just to avoid doing any of that when I have bad neck pain so um yeah I started off doing leg press and I was really working on moving the weight with my glutes so I have my feet up higher on the platform um, with a pretty wide stance and I take my time on the descent of the platform and um, as I'm going back up so I do take time between my reps to make sure that each one is done properly um, and then you see here next I did some Smith machine uh, squats the bar was really light on this like different Smith machines have different resistances <laughs> and this one was quite light so um, yeah I was kind of doing squat mornings so like a little quarter squat so that I could get some good glute involvement so it's like doing a vertical or, or a standing hip thrust. And as per usual, I am making sure that I'm activating my glutes from the bottom of the movement all the way up to the top. However, I'm not locking out all the way here and I'm keeping my torso lean slightly forward because I want to keep constant tension with that exercise. It's more of a pulsing one. And then I moved on to a cable pull through and there's two different ways to do this. One that I feel is more of a glute preferred way and then another one which is more of a hamstring. So I kind of alternate between the two. I'm doing five reps uh, bending my knees and squatting backwards. That's going to target more glutes. And then I switch to doing five with my knees just slightly bent um, and bending completely at the hips. And I think I did sets of 20 with that, so I did five, 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 five. As you guys might notice, the movement is really similar to that Smith machine exercise, but it's being loaded more perpendicularly to the hips, um, whereas the Smith machine one was loaded axially, as I mentioned before, so just down on your shoulders. Because I was even feeling a little bit of neck strain from those previous two exercises, I decided to just leg press style movement. So for this one, I'm doing a single leg leg press, but I'm actually using my opposite Foot, so my foot that's not being focused on um, as a stabilizer and as a little bit of an assist um, for whatever reason I was just feeling really really weak and I needed that so as long as you're being honest with yourself and you're not like cheating then I think that it's okay to use like a little bit of an assist sometimes especially in this case because like I would have just not been targeting the muscles that I wanted to i.e my glutes and would have been using more quads if I hadn't have used my other leg as an assist even on the lowest weight so 
I did my left leg first for 15 to 20 reps and then I moved on to my right leg for a further 15 to 20 reps and then after um, to complete the set I did both legs for another 20 reps and I did it as kind of a pump pulsing exercise and then I moved on to the laziest version of the hip thrust which is getting into the leg extension machine um, it's definitely worth a try but obviously it's gonna be an awkward exercise and it's not gonna be suited for everyone's body types and you're definitely going to need to adjust around the machine and play with it I honestly think the best form of a hip thrust is a smith machine hip thrust for ease of use and um for like an actual good exercise. This is better loaded really lightly, but I did anyway for I think 15 to 20 reps again. Um, and then after to finish off the workout, I moved on to hamstring curls and I did them lying as you can see, which I don't really get to do very often in England because for whatever reason, there's like a random shortage of prone hamstring curl machines don't know why. Sometimes I have trouble activating my hamstrings so I decided to do these hamstring curls with a very light weight and very slow in a very controlled manner. I think 15 to 20 reps again so I really did higher reps during this workout. Anyways that is it for this workout. I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't have an outro clip so I just want to say thank you so much for watching um, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button to support my channel. So yeah, I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye!